Welcome friends. In this video tutorial, we will understand one program from ANSI C programming by E Balaguru Sami book. In this program, we will create multiplication table using do and do while loop. So we want output like this in which we want to print multiplication table up to 10. Now let's see how to do this. We have defined two constant call max and raw max means how many columns we want and how many rows we want. Here 10 10 value are assigned to each constant. Now I have also declared two variable one is the row and column and one extra variable called y is also declared which are of integer type. Now I am assigning row is equal to 1 as a starting value of row because we want multiplication table from 1. For the formatting purpose I am printing these two lines. Now what to do? For the multiplication table to be printed we have to use looping techniques. We can either use for loop or do or do while loop. In this particular example we will use do while loop. Do while loop is an exit control loop which execute at least one time even if condition becomes false. So we have to start do loop first in which I am assigning column is equal to 1. Now in that do loop again I am writing one, one more do loop which is inner loop. Now I want to multiply row into column. So it will give one number which we will print onto the screen which is the multiplication of row and column. Printf statement is printing y which is the multiplication. Now I am incrementing column by value 1. So it will print all the column values. Now at the end we are controlling the loop means up to how many times we have to iterate this loop. We have to specify that condition at the end of do loop using while keyword. So we are checking here condition column less than or equal to call max and we are printing slash n means new line character for new line and incrementing row by 1 value. We have to also specify condition for outer loop. So outer loop will end here and checking condition row is less than or equal to row max. So if this condition doesn't satisfy then program will come out of the loop and it will print some formatting strings. So this is the complete program for multiplication table. Now let's run and see the output. As we have seen in started there is a multiplication table which is the complete multiplication table of up to 10. This program was about multiplication table. Thank you.